Critics say it is a courtroom defense rooted in homophobia to justify crimes against the gay community. Now, New Mexico lawmakers are looking to put a stop to it with the new law. News 13's Chris McKee explains. Yeah, just indeed, a couple of lawmakers are drafting bills to ban the use of the so-called gay trans panic defense, which basically allows criminal defendants to use a victim's sexual identity as a way to explain or lessen crimes like assault and murder. These vestiges of an age where gay people were feared and targeted and assaulted need to end, and they need to end in New Mexico. It's a change to state law that Albuquerque Senator Jacob Candelaria is proposing in an effort to protect gay, queer, and trans crime victims. This bill addresses an ongoing problem. That problem, Candelaria says, is with what's commonly called the gay trans panic defense, a legal strategy to justify why a suspect committed a violent crime against another person with a queer gender identity. You can use the fact that you discovered that someone was gay or trans, or they made a non-violent romantic pass at you, as a defense. An openly gay lawmaker, Senator Candelaria says the panic defense has no place in a courtroom. He's drafting a bill for the upcoming legislative session to specifically ban the use of the panic defense in assault and murder cases. It is fundamentally offensive that because of who I am, they could use the fact that I'm gay to get a lesser sentence to justify their otherwise unjustifiable acts of violence. This is uh, one of our legislative priorities this year. Adrian Carver leads the LGBTQ advocacy group called Equality New Mexico, which supports the proposed ban on the panic defense. It's an effort to, to make sure that we aren't hearkening back to the days of when homosexuality was considered a mental illness. And, and this is an effort to, to protect our communities. Now, Senator Candelaria says he hopes to pre-file his bill in the coming weeks before the session begins. That happens on January 15th. Another senator, Cisco McSorley, a Democrat as well, has filed a similar piece of legislation. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. The gay trans panic defense was most notably used in the 1998 murder of Matthew Shepard, a 21-year-old gay man who was beaten to death by two men in Wyoming. One of the convicted killers attempted to argue that he killed Shepard because Shepard made a sexual advance toward him. Today,